N. The Toronto Blue Jays say thank you to the city of good neighbors and will now hit the road before returning to their full time home for the first time in two years. Good evening, everyone. The Blue Jays just wrapped up their two month stay here in Western New York. Their next home game will be back in Toronto. Tonight's game against the Red Sox, the Jays 23rd at Salem Field. More than 170,000 fans went through the gates, the first fans to watch Major League Baseball in Buffalo since 1915. Jeff Rusak is live at Salem Field where fans bid the Jays a fond farewell. Jeff. Jeff, the Buffalo Blue Jays are no more, but in front of a packed house, the Toronto Blue Jays said thank you to Buffalo, and Buffalo certainly appreciated hosting a Major League Baseball team. For one last time, Western New York baseball fans packed Salem Field to watch a Major League Baseball game. Just to see Major League Baseball in this tiny stadium and get an incredible seat for $29, you know, it's just, it's just been a real treat for the fans in Buffalo, I think. A treat that Blue Jays fans, especially on this side of the border, know has to come to an end. I'm happy for them. I've, they've been waiting for two years, and now they finally get to go back, and for guys who have played there for a long time, finally get to see their family again. The response to COVID-19 is what kept the Blue Jays away from Toronto, but just as restrictions for New York businesses eased, Downtown restaurants and bars benefited from the influx in fans. The energy is just beyond words. I mean, it's something that I think we took for granted before, especially as Buffalonians. It is electrifying. When they were able to open up the stadium for more uh, uh, capacity, that just played into having more of our businesses open up at the same time. The chances of a big league team calling Buffalo home anytime soon are slim. Fans know that. Wednesday, with one game left, they pack Salem Field for one last time. Even in a smaller market with a AAA stadium and a team that's really not quite Western New York's, the Toronto Blue Jays averaged more fans at Salem Field when the Blue Jays were here than three other major league teams. Reporting live in Buffalo, Jeff Rusak, 7 Eyewitness News. Yeah, it's certainly been a lot of fun. All right, thank you, Jeff. Well, the Blue Jays are leaving, but Salem Field will not be empty for very long. The Buffalo Bisons will soon be back for the first time in more than 700 days. Last year's Bison season was canceled. They've played their home games this year in Trenton, New Jersey, but they will return to Salem Field on August 10th and play 23 games in Buffalo. Bisons fans will get a major league experience still when the minor league team comes home. Brand new field, brand new uh, wall pads, um, bullpens are out in right center field. I mean, the, the look of the ballpark is still new for fans, um, but you know, all the same minor league stuff that we'll do, we'll do all the promotions back again, all the good food, um, but the players get the, the brunt of what, what the cool new stuff is this year. Yeah, Bison's players will enjoy all the new amenities that were brought in when the Blue Jays first came to Buffalo last year. We'll hear from the Blue Jays manager as the team says goodbye to Buffalo in just about 20 minutes.